Hello. Um, so we are talking about heat transfer. So we spend a lot of time talking about the different pipes, the, the movement of the water, and how much energy we would need to, to heat up our food product. In this case, we are talking about a juice. And in this case, we are talking about a juice that has 20% solid content. And assuming the rest of them is 80% water and no fat, this is a juice. And then we, we need that to calculate our heating capacity of the juice. And we are pumping the juice along the pipe. And the starting temperature of the juice is 10% de degrees Celsius. And the outcome that we want, that we want to achieve is 40 degrees Celsius. The water that we are going to use will have a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. After it goes through the cooling, the heating, so some of the energy is going to be lost and at the end, it will have a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. If our juice is pumping through the pipe at 40 liters per second, the question is, how much water do we need per second? So thinking about back in thermodynamic, the heat that is gained, the, the heat that is gained by the juice will be the same amount of heat that is lost by the water, okay? So pretty simple, no steam this time, just dealing with water at different temperature um, or juice at different temperature. So we will start with the juice first because we know everything about the juice. We know um, we, the equation that we need is mass, heat capacity, and time. And mass we know, um, assuming that, we, let's just assume one second. So we know the mass is four liter, and we will assume that four liter is also four kilogram. Okay, so it's four kilogram. Heating capacity, as we've learned earlier in the lesson, we have this equation is 20% solid. So it's the equations that we've learned earlier on, 0.837 kilojoules per kilogram, and then plus 80% water. So it's 0 0.8 times 4.187 kilojoules, kilojoules per kilogram. Okay, so, and then we know the delta temperature. Now the temperature here, what is it? Now the temperature here, sorry, I'm trying to squeeze everything in one this part of the board. So now the temperature will be 40 degrees minus 10 degrees Celsius, okay? So we know the, the energy that is gained by the juice. Oh, all the numbers are here, you can use your calculator. And then we will be able to use, that will be the same as the energy that's lost by the water. We don't know the mass because that's something that we are looking for. That's the question. We are looking for how much water we need to pump through the system. Heating capacity is simple. Let me just write it down here. It's something that we've used many times now, 4.187 kilojoules per kilogram. And now without the temperature, it's going to be 60 degree minus 80 degree. We have this equation, energy gained by the juice will equals to the energy lost by the water. We have all the variables there. All we need to do is calculate for the mass. And that will, we will assume that it's per second because we started with per second um, here for the calculation of the juice. Okay, thank you. So this is step.